Hi, this is Denise. Welcome to my home. This is the third time around I've started this. My dogs have decided to be noisy this morning. And that's not all. You know, I get started talking and sometimes I say things that I want you to hear me, hear me, hear my heart. Um, that's enough. There are a couple of things that have happened in the last couple of days that are really awesome and have touched my heart in a way that is absolutely undeniable. God touched me by a post from... <coughs> It was a post from a new subscriber who was recently widowed and she was sharing with me about how it doesn't really matter what I do on the channel if I do Timu hauls or just talk or, or whatever that she felt that there was a need for me um, and it really blessed my heart to hear that the things that have been going around in my head have been felt by others as well. Um, I know without a shadow of a doubt that God set up this channel. It's a, it's a vehicle for him to touch and meet other people. And I've been absolutely awestruck by how many people from all over the world have seen me, my heart, my God, my Savior, through this channel. I don't have to worry about subscribers, I know that. That he'll bring who needs to be here, and that's who needs to be here. The numbers don't count, the numbers don't matter. And the only thing that matters in all of this is God. It's been fun with the Timu hauls, and I, I hope to be able to continue doing some hauls. What he's opened the door for are each one of you that are here. And my responsibility in that is to bring him to you. And if you if you stay, that's great. I... I want you to stay. I want all of you to stay. I just love you all so much. And my struggle is, it's kind of a circle. I think in pictures. So if I come across as kind of crazy, I probably am. What I see is a circle. You know, the station started, the channel started. I didn't think I would ever do anything like this. And the idea that anybody would watch it was amazing to me. Um, I've always known that Tima was a vehicle, but I didn't realize a lot of other things, you know. So I'm on this train, this Timu train, and I get to talk to you about my life, about my God, about my family. And I get to show you products that I think are really good and give us an opportunity to purchase items that can fit in a budget. I think all of us are on one. God has provided me a way to do this so far. And why would I think that it would ever stop? I don't know. You know, it's I have these levels that I see myself at with, with God. Now, that sounds really bizarre, but I have this knowledge, absolutely, that he's there with you. And that he's here with me. And I think that I trust him. I believe that he has always carried me through. And maybe the levels are, are my levels of trust that I'm learning about. 
I've trusted him with my children. I've trusted him with my finances. I've trusted him with my relationships. I've trusted him. And, and I've fallen. I mean, you know, it's not an everyday 100% deal. But I have that, that heart knowledge that he's here. Now I need to trust him with you. And that's really... I feel such a deep responsibility to be here in the way he wants me to be here. And to give you what he wants you to have through me. So I've given myself some time to hear him. And what he's shown me is that every day I will be doing a video in the morning for him every day. I have this beautiful prayer book that has devotions in it and prayers. Not that I have to have prayers written down because I talk to him. He's my friend. He's my everything. I talk to him like I'm talking to you. But having something written is sometimes a little easier, obviously, with the word, you know. He knew that we would benefit by a written word. But I want to dedicate every day that I'm with you every day that I am, every day that I breathe to him. So today, and on Sundays, I believe that he's going to give me a message for you. So today the message is from Philippians 4 and 8. And this is something that I used to speak over my children before they'd go out the door. And this was a long time ago before any of this nonsense that has confused our children came up. But Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 8, I read it this morning and I thought, well, I think that I want to go back a little bit to the beginning of chapter 4. Therefore, my beloved and longed for brethren, my joy and crown. So stand last. Please forgive me. My eyesight is bad. I'm going to be going Thursday. So bear with me if I stumble a little bit. Therefore, my beloved and longed for brethren, my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I implore, implore Yodia. That's the name of a person. And I implore Syntac, that's another person, to be of the same mind in the Lord. He's talking about us coming together in the mind of Christ that that we have control over what we think. And he's he's telling these two people to come together in their thoughts about God. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. All of those people are saved. Before Jesus died, people were saved. After Jesus died, people were saved. People were saved in view of Christ. That's what the Old Testament is. And here we're seeing people that lived to an announce Christ, to, to bring him to our knees. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Rejoice means so many things. Rejoice doesn't have to do with how you're feeling. It has to do with truth. 
It has to do with the truth of who God is. We rejoice when we're sad. We rejoice when we're hurting. We rejoice when we're lacking. We re rejoice in abundance. We rejoice in, in pleasure. We rejoice in all things. <sighs> Move, cat. Come on. No, down. We rejoice. <laughs> Rejoicing is, it's not, it doesn't depend on circumstances. It is what we have in our hearts. And that's a gift from God. When we rejoice, that's a verb. We rejoice, but the rejoicing comes from God. That's the only way we can have that. It's the same as commit, uh, contentment. Contentment and happiness are not the same thing. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. You know, when I look at this and it says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, we, we thank him before anything has even happened. I can't pay my bills. Lord, help me. Thank you, Lord, for your steadfastness, for your faithfulness to me, for your provision, for everything that you do to help me. We thank him without seeing evidence. We thank him because we know that he will walk through this with us. Let your requests be known to God with thanksgiving. When I ask him for anything, I need to have gratitude because I know that he's already done it. We may not see it right away. God always answers prayers in his time. He answers prayers, but they are always in front of him. Everything that we ask for, he hears everything that we need. He hears and he works in absolutely mysterious ways. I know when I was talking to you about the post, now this woman is in England across the pond and what she said, God used her voice to touch my heart. How is that ha possible? How is that possible? If he hadn't put this channel in operation, if he hadn't done this, I would never have heard from her. And I wouldn't have had the opportunity to see what I saw through her. He's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. And he loves me. He loves you. He loves each one of us. He loves us to our core. He knows us to our core. He will be the only one on this earth that ever knows us. We need him. Guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. That's a huge promise. And it's always, it's, it's an affirmation that we have control over our thoughts. We have control. And through the Lord and through his, his goodness and faithfulness and steadfastness, we can learn to walk in a different light and walk in a way that you've never walked before, that I've never walked before. 
And he gives this to me over and over again, no matter how many times I mess up. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again. Through you, sh Though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned that whatever state I am in, to be content. Whatever state I am in, to be content. I know how to be abased. I know how to bound, to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Wow. You know, so many times the words of John were spoken in prison. Uh, he isn't speaking in prison at this point. But I don't think so. I want to make sure that I'm telling you the truth. This is Philippians, the epistle of Paul, the, uh, the apostle to the Philippians. And this is a letter that he sent. A lot of what he wrote was when he was in prison and he starved and he was hurt and he was old and he hurt and he couldn't see well because of his transformation. His eyes were messed up and he spent years suffering for Christ. And when the word talks about suffering for Christ, many times now, he did suffer physically, but suffering is we walk with him no matter what, no matter what it looks like. We never, ever turn away, ever. And are we able to do that? Not without God, but are we ever able to do that? We may be called to do that, to say, I am his, no matter what. I love you guys so much. God has given me a special place in my heart for each and every one of you. And my desire is to do what God says. And from there, he'll take care of it. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. In your name, Jesus, we have needs, we have prayer requests, we have things that are difficult, we have things that nobody else knows, but you do. Lord, I pray for us all, for each one of us, that you would be ever present to us and to that need that we have. And Lord, help us to be present to each other, that as you give words to to those out there that are my friends that they wouldn't be afraid to deliver those words even if they don't even know they're for me I mean you know or for each other that's what I said I we need each other we need all of us together to do this Lord Jesus be with each of us today help us to walk in contentment no matter what our circumstances are. Help us to walk in joy and peace and, and dignity that you give us. I love you, Lord. And I pray for each one of my friends that they would experience that same joy. In your name, Jesus, amen. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you for loving me. And thank you for speaking what you've spoken. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now and publish it. And 
uh, get ready for I, my next video. And I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye.